it's not often that the keyboard on your phone rolls on an update that might actually be really, really useful, but Gboard has done exactly that. For those of us who have a phone that might have a stylus or perhaps a tablet that has a stylus, the Pixel tablet actually has USI tablet support and it works great there. Gboard now does have some really, really nice handwriting detection, handwriting support being currently rolled out. And now we're not just talking about the little space down. Instead of having keys, you have an area to write. We're talking about some like deeply integrated into the OS sort of handwriting support. Let's take a look at exactly how this works on a couple of devices. So of course the Galaxy S23 Ultra is probably the most obvious device to test this sort of thing out on because of course it does have the S Pen. So I am currently running this version of the Gboard app. Of course I am in the beta. I'm not sure if this has rolled out publicly yet or if it is indeed only in the beta. But once you are up and running, let's jump into an application and we'll just act like we're going to be typing out a message. And you can see here that while I have you know, selected this text field, my keyboard has not popped up. Instead, I have this little toolbar here and I can do the handwriting demo and it's gonna show you here. Your stylus and your handwriting is automatically converted to text. So I can say, test and it should read that and write that down. Deleting is pretty simple too. You can just sort of scribble out a word and that will delete it. You can select text by circling it, which is pretty cool. You can insert by drawing the little carrot, the little arrow, join by using a vertical line. So if two words, like two chunks of a word get separated, you can draw that line through them to sort of try to join them together. We've inserted a word. Now, so that stuff is working pretty well. New line, that's cool. So draw like a little backwards L to create a new line. All that stuff is pretty solid. Now, my handwriting is absolutely horrible, so I can't see myself using this a ton, but it does seem like it works pretty well. You just write where you want to write. Now, strangely here, this doesn't seem like it's actually working on threads. So let's try this on another app. We will do Twitter. So we are working on Twitter. Okay, so let's try this now. Oh boy, my handwriting's bad. One interesting thing is that you can actually just write on top of everything, like there's not enough room or anything, so you can just kind of like, I can't possibly squeeze what I want to say in there. So we could just do that, and it should just kind of drop it in there, although I did capitalize that for some reason, but you can see that it is indeed working relatively well. Again, on a smaller device like this, maybe not as good, and someone like me that can barely write their own name, you know, correctly, uh, not quite as good either. Now, unfortunately for me right now, the S23 Ultra is the only device that I have access to for which this feature has arrived. They're all on the same version, but it seems like it's sort of being rolled out with a server side type thing, which is pretty par for the course for Google and their updates. I also want to point out that on the S23 Ultra, I did not have the handwriting language enabled. All I had was the standard US English uh, dictionary enabled on my Gboard, and this still popped up anyway, so I didn't need to enable anything. I didn't need to change any settings. I simply picked up the device, pulled out my S Pen, and it was already functioning. I went ahead and I grabbed my Galaxy tab here, and it has not arrived on this. And I also grabbed my Surface Duo 2 and a Surface Pen, and it was also not functional on there yet, although I do expect it to arrive on both of those devices. I would love to hear from some Surface Duo users. How well is this actually working for you? And I also want to point out that this is, of course, something that Samsung more or less already has with their Samsung keyboard. It's just that now Gboard has more or less copied this feature and they are rolling it out in such a way that any device that supports a stylus will be able to take advantage of this. The biggest benefactor theoretically, would be Google's own Pixel tablet, which does have USI stylus support. Unfortunately, for those of us who own and use the Pixel Fold, there is no stylus support available here, so it's not really gonna do 
anything in particular for you. Again, only devices that already support a stylus are going to benefit from this. And if you had a Samsung device, you already had something similar. So this is kind of like a subset of a subset, right? Devices that had a stylus support, but didn't already have this feature. Now they're going to have it. And the beautiful thing is that going forward, any company that wants to make a device with a stylus can just use this and it's just built into the device more or less. So that is definitely a positive. So all that being said, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Have you managed to get it to start working on something like your Surface Duo or Duo 2? Is it good? Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe when it pops up on mine, I'll make a standalone video showing it off as well. But again, hit those comments and let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.